Hey my friends. You are gay. Fasten your seatbelt and get excited because today you will learn stuff that will blow your mind away. The prophecy is true. I will basically teach you everything you need to know about how to make samples and make your own sample pack. On top of that, I have a complete sample pack by Unison Audio for 100% free for you. But, if you are a music producer you maybe asked yourself how people make their very own samples and selling sample packs. You probably searched for a couple tutorials on YouTube and all you have found was hip hop producers showing you how to make melody loops or people that are manipulating already existing samples and make them their own. Guys, I know that struggle, I went my own way on this topic, and I also started that way, but today I managed to create and sell my very own sample packs in the EDM space, and now I will show you my full strategy on how to create a 6 sample pack which has a very high quality, and yet goes relatively quickly to create. I will show you step by step everything you need to know in this video, I will show you how to create a sick kick drum from scratch, snares, claps, Hi-hats, snaps, ambiences, whooshes, impacts, 808s and more. And I will show you my strategy to make dozens of samples quick. The strategy is, you first have to do the most time-consuming part, creating the actual one-shots. If you have created the first bunch of one-shots, you can manipulating them by echoing, pitching, layering, saturating, distorting, reverbing, and much more. With this technique you can basically make much more new one-shots out of your existing one-shots. So you have a giant bags full of your own one-shots. And then, out of these one-shots, you can create FX sounds like impacts, downlifters, whooshes, and basically everything you will need for a pack. So you basically will learn everything you need to know about this topic in this full guide. So guys, let's finally go to the very very first step of creating a 6 sample pack. Hiring a sound designer. Ha 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 ha. No I am kidding. No I am not kidding. I mean, I actually can produce kicks for myself, but it take me like 10 attempts to really come up with a good result. The kick is the most important element of EDM track so the kick has to be really really good. So I think it's a better idea that the best sound designer shows you the hard stuff like that. His name is Sir and he is from the Netherlands. He is a beast in sound design and he creates a large part of the samples in my packs. And now guys let's go finally to the real sauce of this video. Creating samples from scratch. So guys the first thing Sir did was to choose a BSOD square wave. And now out of these sound he will create a kick. Some people say he does witchcraft with his serum. Ha 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 ha. So guys he really shortened up the envelope one to make it short and punchy. Then my boy changed his mind and selected a basic sine wave for a better sound. Now he shortened up the second envelope and he dragged it onto the coarse pitch section to give the kick a really fast pitch automation from high to low. With this technique you give your sound a punchy click sound in the beginning. Right here he selected the assign setting and he dragged envelope 1 onto these knob so you got a fast automation with your wavetable. Then he played around a bit till it sounded good to him. Nice. Now he went further and selected a white noise sound for more punch in the beginning of the sound. He plays around till he likes it. Then he went into the effects panel and gave his sound some distortion. Envelope one onto the drive knob for more variation. Diode two sounds sick. Then he added compression. And he decided to reduce the distortion a bit. After that he fine-tuned the pitch of the punch sound a bit to let it punch a bit lower. Then he selected another sample right here. Perfect. Now he went into oscillator B and he selected these wavetable. He automated the volume with envelope 1 by dragging it onto it. He does the same now with oscillator A, because he probably forgot it. And now he selected the AM thing right here because I have no idea. But it sounds good to me ha ha. Okay my guys the top kick is now done. Now our boy Sird will move on to the bottom kick. 
First he dragged down the MIDI note a bit to give it more low frequencies. He select these wave table right here. Two octaves down. Shorten up the second envelope and drag it onto the coarse pit for the punch. Then he created the main shape of the kick on envelope 1 and dragged it onto the volume. Together with the top kick it already sounds like this. Now he shapes the LFO of the bottom kick to match it to the top kick. Click on envelope mode. He plays around with the rate knob till he likes it. Then guys he went back to the top kick and set off the oscillator B because I think he thought it sounded better just with oscillator A. Now guys the top and bottom kick are done from scratch. Now he layers some texture sounds on top and mix it together to let the kick come alive and make it unique. You just can record these kind of texture sounds with your phone and work with it because it is a very cool technique. It adds so much more organic texture while wow, it's amazing. Now our boy went further with some multiband compression and EQ to really glue our elements together. And some more compression. Wow the glue compressor really tightened it up. This boy is a pure genius. Now he decided to take another organic sound for the layering to really make the kit perfect. Of course I recommend to make the layering with your own samples to be on the safe side with copyright stuff, but for the sake of this tutorial it is a great example. Now he shortens these elements up a bit. Wow the kick sounds really really good in my opinion. Then he grabbed a saturation plugin to give the kick more saturation. Amazing. Then he frees the kick to a WAV file. Then he does some last fine tuning and the perfect EDM kick is done. Let's give fat applause to our boy Sir for showing us how to be an actual sound design nerd. Wow this was amazing. Now Sir will show you guys on how to make a clap from absolute scratch. First you have to slap somebody and record it. Ha 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 I'm kidding. Of course we are using serum again. But first we need a white noise sample. And now Sirid creating a clap LFO shape that looks kinda like this. Now select envelope mode right here. Disable BPM. And now play with the rate. Now enable the filter and click on N. So you route the noise oscillator to the filter. Our boy selected the high pass filter 24. And now play with the filter knobs till you like the result. Then he decided to give this clap some distortion. Nice. Some chorus for a wider feeling. Some compression. And some echoing. And a weird filter to give it more low end. As you can hear guys, you really have to use your ears and experience right here. Now our boy pulled up an EQ to brighten up some frequencies. He is searching for the main frequency of the snare and then he wants to push these frequency. Nice. Then he dragged some reverb onto it. He reduced the decay time to make the reverb short. After that he dragged some OTT onto it for some multiband compression. Now he freezed the snare. And then he went back into his serum and changed up some things like the noise sample. He now changes the LFO shape a tiny bit. Some settings on the filter. And he also changes up some things with the effects. And so fast he has a second snare with more body. Now he layers these two samples on top of each other and it gives a really strong clap already. Now he threw the Haas plugin onto these samples to make them more stereo. And now he bumped up the volume on both samples to make them really snap. Nice. Now Sirid is getting even more genius. 
he records some clap noises with his hands, and he will layer these recordings underneath his clap to make it even more unique and organic. He selects his favorite takes, and he placed them under his clap. Then he threw the glue compressor onto these sounds to glue them together. Now he freezes all elements together to become one sample, and then he threw even more reverb onto it. And more EQ, ha ha. And some chorus to make them more wide. And then he added the drum shaper to give it more transient. And now our ladies and gentlemen, our clap is finally ready. Oh Sarah, you made that very good. But guys, we are not ready here. But before we are continuing with the sound design masterclass, we take a little meme break. Okay thoughts enough, at this point I have to remind you that I have a complete free sample pack from Unison with 465 unique samples, midis and presets. Click the first link in the video description and get it if you haven't yet guys. We are loving free stuff ha ha ha. Now Sirt will show you how to make a snare from scratch. So for the first step he chose a wavetable of his liking and he changed the wavetable position a tiny bit. Then he enables the noise oscillator, and he clicked on envelope 2 and dragged it onto the volume knob to automate it. Then he enabled envelope mode. He threw these LFO onto the noise volume, and now he shaped the LFO till he liked it. Then he selects another noise sound. Then he creates another LFO shape. And he dragged it onto the chorus pit to give the sound a little punch. Then he dragged the second LFO onto the pitch right here and he played with the knob till he liked it. Then he threw some distortion onto it. The LFO onto the drive knob to automate it. Yes. He selected the pre-mode right here. Then he added some compression to give it more punch. and some EQ to boost some certain frequencies. And he dragged the LFO onto the game knob and played with it. Also right here to really make it stand out. Man that sounds so nice already. Then he changed his mind and selected another noise sound. Then he threw some OTT onto the sample. After that he set it one octave down to let it play lower. After that he pulled up the Fab Filter Pro Q to EQ some stuff again. He boosts some low mid frequencies, because right there is the key of the snare. He reduced some mids also. He is really using his ears right here and tries to come up with the best result possible. He went back into his serum, dragged up the octave again, and changed the semitone to minus 9 to give it more harmonics I guess. That sounds really good already. Now he threw some overdrive distortion onto the snare. And some more EQ again. He went back into Serum and changed the LFO shape just a tiny bit in the beginning, so the transcend is not so hard. Then he recorded the snare to get a wave file. Like this. And now he boosts the volume to make it pop. And he uses another EQ to perfect it. Nice. Now Sirt is going further with the layering part. He searches some organic sound so make the snare come alive. He processed the length of it to make it fit perfectly. 
He pulls up another texture sample. It just gives the whole stack a more organic feel. Now he throws this sample underneath it. Very nice. Then he pulled up the glue compressor to glue these sounds together. That sounds really good. And some more multiband compression. And now some reverb. And now comes the drum shaper to give the snare more punchy transient. Very nice. Guess what comes next? Some EQ ha ha. It gives the snare even more punch in the mid lows. Now he records the snare. And my ladies and gentlemen this is the final snare Sird has created. Wow so amazing. Now we are going further with creating a hi-hat. Sird goes into full genius mode, and he records his own voice making hi-hat kinda noises. Ha 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 thought so amazing. Now he chooses his most favorite ticks and he placed them onto each other. Thoughts already sounding really good. But after a little processing it will be amazing for sure. At first he shortens them up to make them fit better. Amazing. Now he pulls up an EQ and after that he used the glue compressor to glue them together. Nice. Now he records the whole thing to get a full wave file. Now he changes up the length a tiny bit, but and then he records another take. So he is two slightly different hi-hat samples that sound like this. Now he adds the drum shaper to make the transient a bit stronger. Amazing. And these are the final hi-hats. That is an amazing hi-hat also Chuki Beats loves it so much. Okay guys our boy Serge showed us how to make a kick, a clap, a snare, and hi-hats. Now is my turn and I show you guys how to make a nice 808. Okay guys at first we pick our lovely serum. And I went straight for a basic sine wave. Then I changed the first envelope that it looks like this. So it fades out smoothly and so you got that nice 808 bounce. Then I went into the effects panel, and I threw some random effects onto it. Like some distortion right here. And some multiband compression to make it pop. Oh that is heavy. Now we need a filter to make it more smooth. And I EQ it a bit to make it sound better. I just try out some stuff till I like it more. I think it needs a little boost on the mid-low frequencies right here. Right now the 808 sound weird, but I promise it will sound amazing. Now I add the hyper dimension effect to give it more harmonics. Like this. Then I went to the piano roll, and I picked a lower key for more vibes. And now we threw some effects onto it to make it come alive. For example some overdrive distortion, or the fruity fast distortion to really squish it ha ha ha. That sounds juicy, and we need some compression to control the volume better. Something like this. Now we EQ some more stuff to our liking. Some more lows and mids, and quiet less highs. Thoughts sounds good. Okay guys now we record that sound so we have a nice wave file. Now I boost it a bit, nice. Maybe we need some more compression. Okay guys amazing. Now we render out our 808 and we will try him in a project I made a couple weeks ago. I dragged our new 808 into the project and let's listen how he is sounding in the whole context. Oh yes. Maybe we can boost some more lows to make him bounce like an earthquake. 
I mixed him a little bit too loud guys, so you can hear him good. Maybe we can add some compression to last time. And this is the 808 in the whole track guys. You guys think we are ready now? No. Today we give you the real sauce and big messes. So now I show you how to make a snap sample from scratch. First in our serum we write in a very high note. Then I pull the attack down. I decrease the decay a lot like this. And I shut the sustain all the way down. Then I pull up one octave and now we have a really high click sound. Now I go to the effects panel and I throw some distortion to the sound so it is a bit louder. Something like this. Then I add some heavy compression to make the sound come alive. Now I record the sound to get a wave file. Now I drag the length knob all the way down to stretch the sound a bit. Then I duplicate the sound to make it a snap. I put some OTT on top. And some EQ to boost some frequencies. Yay that sounds better. After that I added some reverb. Wow nice. And once again I record that sound. Then I duplicate it again and position it like this. But I think I make the second sample a bit quieter. Oh yes my guys that goes into the right direction. I duplicate it again to make it even better. And guys I make a reverse sample also to give it a little fade in the beginning. Oh yes. Now I record it again ha ha. I now add some more EQ. And I try to boost the right frequencies right here my lovely fellas. And some compression. Nice my boy. And the last step is some reverb to perfect it. A shorter reverb. Oh yes. Now comes the final recording. Let's see how our final snap sounds like compared to the other snaps. Oh yes guys I'm really happy with that snap. Okay guys we are now ready with making drum samples from scratch. Now I show you how to increase the amount of your drum exponentially. This is the technique almost every hip hop producer tells you how you make samples. I think when you manipulate your own samples to get more interesting samples fast, it's a good technique. So you can make basically everything to make your existing sample sounding completely different. I just show you a few examples quick. So I have a lovely snare right here. I think I will pitch it up a bit and see if it sounds good. It sounds crap. I pitch it down a bit. Now it sounds good. Now I shorten it up to make it more snap. Oh yes. Now I boost some frequencies with EQ to make it snap even more. Here is the main frequency. Oh nice. And I boost some highs also. Maybe we can add some reverb. Okay guys I love how the snare is sounding. Let's compare these two snares. So guys you really can get creative and tweaking almost everything till you get a nice result. You also can layering existing samples to get new unique samples. For example like this. Just shape them around till you like. Just mix them together. And change the length on some samples so they really fit together smoothly like one big snare. Yay that sounds decent. And done. You have a completely unique snare. My friends now I show you how to make an impact sound. You first pick a kick of your liking and place it into the timeline. Then you add some reverb. And some EQ. Then it sounds weird like this. I think I should add more reverb so the impact has a bigger and longer atmosphere. Yes that sounds good. Now I add another EQ that cut out the high frequencies. Like this. 
Now I duplicate the kit, and put it underneath without effects for now. And I mix it together. So it is a stronger punch. Now guys we need a clap or a snare sample. Of course we add some reverb for more atmosphere. Just mix it quieter. And I cut off some highs to fit it in better. Nice. Now I duplicate the clap and I reverse it. So it fades into the impact. I do the same with the kick. And last but not least, I add some reverb onto that second kick because I think it will sound better. Now I record this all together and we have a nice impact sample. Nice. Now I show you how to make a whoosh sound. You basically need a sample with high frequencies like for example a hi-hat. Then you need a second sample that can be anything. Then I threw some heavy reverb onto that hi-hat. And now I do a volume automation. And I cut out the low frequencies. Something like that my boys. Now we put some heavy reverb onto that clap. And we also do a volume automation. An EQ to cut out the muddy lows. Now let's take a listen together. I think we need to mix it nicer. Yes that's good. Now we record that whole thing to get a nice wave file out of it. Then I boost that thing to make it louder. And this is our final whoosh sound. Nice. These samples are so useful I use them in all of my tracks. Okay boys this video is already so long. But I told you how to do a downlifter sound. So I have to make it ha ha ha. For stuff like this I use Silinth 1 most of the time. I pulled up the voices. And then I write in a note into the piano roll. Now pull two octaves up. And give it some detune to make it wide. Yes like this. Now we set up a pitch automation from high to low to give it that falling vibe. I let it play even higher. Nice. Now we need to add some effects like reverb. And some chorus. And also compression. Now I add some white noise. We need to EQ it a bit to make it cleaner. Take out some lows for example. Man that sound is so annoying ha ha. Now I add some compression. And now we record that sample. Now I make a volume automation to make it fade smoothly. And I EQ'd it even more to make it clean. And I added even more reverb to it. I record that whole thing and ladies and gentlemen this is our whole sample. For the last part I show you magic tricks like making ambient sounds. Therefore we grab a nice piano and we start to write a simple but beautiful melody into the piano roll. After that I record that thing to a sample. And I put that sample into the fruity granulizer. Now I just play with the settings. I set the random all the way up for example. And also the whole button. After playing around a bit the sample sounds very weird. But I promise it will be amazing. I acute it a bit. I add some delay to make it dreamy. And now my ladies and gentlemen comes the magic. The reverb. Wow guys this is a magical ambient sample. So my friends. If you watched till this far I have to tell you that you are a real legend. I really appreciate your support guys. And I have really big stuff for you in the future. Stay tuned for that. And grab the big unison sample pack for absolutely free in the video description. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I love you.